Okay, today is April the 13th, 2016, and we're watching the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. And right now, in the foothills of Los Angeles, at about 9.40 p.m., we have a temperature of 55 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 88%. Dew point is 52 degrees, and the barometric pressure has dropped to 29.95. All right. Uh, last night it was 30.06, so we've got uh, we've got some low pressure moving into the area, and uh, as we can see from this map, uh, this storm right here is moving into uh, Oregon and Washington. This is a fairly large storm, and we can see that there's a transmitter on this uh, core, and we also have a separate uh, area of heating going on right down here, and that is disrupting the uh, jet stream flow here. We can see the moisture suddenly just disappearing. Uh, right here because of all that high pressure and uh, heat being applied. What's happening here is they are cutting off this moisture field which would uh, bring uh, more rain to uh, Northern California. We also had a lot of chemtrails down in Southern California today all along the uh, west coast. We could see uh, the west coast of Southern California was uh, filled with chemtrails and, and also the, uh, the northwest sky was a uh, very uh, heavy uh, a lot of chemtrailing going on, and that's because of all this moisture moving in. Okay, that's not a result of the moisture moving in. It's because they are spraying the moisture to dry it out and prevent it from uh, generating rain. All right, let's look at this map uh, in the uh, infrared loop. We can see that that disruption here is very effective. This moisture just uh, evaporates right here where we have that uh, transmitter applying uh, RF energy, which is... Uh, heating the atmospheric moisture, the, the uh, water vapor in the air is being heated and it uh, evaporates. And then we have the chemtrails working down here to uh, sponge up any residual moisture. And, uh, and we have this storm that is moving right into the uh, west coast. This is also generating 30 foot uh, swells. So there's gonna be some uh, erosion damage right along those two states on the coastline. We'll take a look at that. Uh, let's look at the uh, jet stream. We can see the flow here is moving uh, right into uh, California, Oregon, mainly. And then we have that uh, transmitter that is uh, parked right here, generating high pressure. And uh, that is cutting off the, uh, it's evaporating all the moisture in that uh, flow. Okay, next we have the uh, surface analysis map. And uh, we can see the high pressure is uh, still firmly in place here. This has not moved much. And uh, we have that storm right here, 991 millibar moving uh, due east. And uh, what we have is, is a wind forecast because of the proximity of this high, 1,031 millibar, and this low. So we've got, uh, we've got counterclockwise uh, rotation here. We've got clockwise rotation here from the high. So we're going to have wind shooting through this direction. And as this moves on shore, uh, this will probably follow it. And uh, so we do have a wind forecast, and that, that is the reason why we're going to have wind. This is going to move in. We've got a high here. I'm not sure what the pressure is on that. We've got 1,013 here. We'll have to see what happens. But this cold front is uh, really, uh, it doesn't have much moisture in it, as we just saw in, the, uh, in this map here. There's not, uh, there may be a cold front, but uh, there's not, we're not going to get any rain from that because it's, it's been, uh, they've got a transmitter right here, which is uh, disrupting this entire moisture field. So we won't see, probably see much rain, if any. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, Western U.S. water vapor loop. And we can see a transmitter working right here on the core, and that is actually generating pretty much, uh, a straight line. As we scroll through. Let's just slow this thing down, and we can see right here, straight edge starting to to develop, right there. Let's see if we got an envelope handy here. That is fairly straight. So they are heating the core that system. We can also see down here all that heat is evaporating uh, moisture as it moves right into 
California, most of it. The rest of it is just uh, being chemtrailed, sprayed with aerosols. Let's go ahead and watch this for a second. See that disruption, and we have that straight edge. Let's go ahead and stop this and put the envelope on that. That's a fairly straight edge right there. All right. So once again, we have some uh, really good evidence of weather manipulation going on. And we can see that pockets of moisture moving through the uh, Southern California area. All right, next, uh, let's take a look at the uh, ocean swell, the wave analysis. <clears throat> and uh, we can see that in the core of that storm, we have 29 foot swells. And that's just the average of the upper one third. Uh, there could be well over 30 foot swells there. And this is very close to Oregon and Washington and also uh, Northern California. So there's going to be a lot of a very, very high surf moving in uh, to the uh, west coast here in about a day. And uh, some of this is going to make its way down into uh, central California. All the north facing beaches are going to get hammered uh, with that uh, with that swell. All right, here is the uh, sea level pressure analysis. And we can see that that high pressure extends all the way over uh, parts of California. 1016 millibar, this line right here is extending all through here. 1016. We have this low, this storm is moving in. It'll be interesting to see what, what happens uh, because the center of this high is way out in the, uh, way far out. It's far enough out in the, in the ocean where, you know, we might be able to get some moisture out of this if certain things happen right here. So we see some dips here. We have some low pressure indicated. We have some little dips and bumps here. So there's some things going on here that we need to keep an eye on. Uh, so there's a lot of surface high pressure. Let's go take a look next at the uh, 500 millibar. We can see that storm right there. And then we have this uh, pocket of higher pressure here. We've got a high center down here. And we have that uh, flow, We've got a jet stream moving through here and then turning. Uh, turning up to the north. All right, uh, the uh, 300 millibar, we can see the same thing. Pretty much, we've got a high centered out right over uh, Hawaii. We've got a low down here. Right down, right down there. And then we have that low pressure over here that just this, uh, was uh, right over California here a couple of days ago. It's now out over uh, Oklahoma, it looks like. Okay, let's uh, look at the uh, MODIS Today map. This is the Southern California area map. MODIS Today, this is the color satellite map. This shows us the uh, chemtrails being sprayed. Uh, right here is Lompoc and Vandenberg Air Force Base. We have uh, San Luis Obispo down here and uh, Santa Barbara. And then we have uh, Los Angeles uh, right, right over here. Okay. So what we're seeing here is, is, is sort of a repeat yesterday of, of yesterday where we have uh, the chemtrails. There's a broad area of uh, this gray chemtrail mix. We can also see several uh, streaks. Uh, several, some of these run for a couple hundred miles, two, three hundred miles. You're running them uh, perpendicular, to, perpendicular to the, uh, the incoming uh, weather. We can see that uh, right here. We have these uh, bands of moisture moving in. and. Uh, and then we have uh, the uh, Southern High Sierra range right here. And this is all being sprayed. We can see the uh, gray uh, chemtrail mix. Let me get the camera over there. This gray stuff, this is all the chemtrail mix right here. And the natural clouds are the, uh, the cotton white, the brilliant white clouds. We have a blanket here that is uh, basically running diagonally over the top of this, uh, this uh, uh, moisture field thunderstorms and clouds and all that right here over that uh, Sierra range. This is the Southern Sierra range. And, uh, and then we have a Bakersfield in the Central Valley, which is very flat. As we pan up a little bit more, we can see snow on the mountains. 
right here. That's all good, but uh, they shouldn't be spraying because uh, this is uh, stopping the rain. We got more of that over here. All this gray stuff. This is very easy to spot on the uh, satellite map. This is not uh, cirrus clouds. This is not water vapor. That is a uh, chemtrail mix. <clears throat> all right. Now let's look at the uh, Northern California and the Washington and Oregon map, the uh, Modus map. And uh, we can see, uh, first of all, that this map has been spliced together today. They've uh, photoshopped this thing. Now we can see that this is Washington State. Uh, this is the Columbia River right here. <clears throat> if anybody hasn't seen the Columbia River, you need to uh, check this out either by going up Interstate 5 or taking the 101 because this is a huge, very powerful river. And heck, they get a lot of wind through this area right here. And uh, it's quite a sight to see. The Columbia River is. Got to see it. All right. So what we see here is a lot of chemtrail mix. We can see that, and, and we have a splice, and then there's nothing. So they've they've taken uh, two different pictures and put them together. Anyhow, this side here we can see that it's uh, just blanketed with chemtrail mix, right here. And as we as we pan down uh, into uh, California, we can see that offshore there is a lot of uh, spring. All this stuff here is all chemtrail mix as well. And then the stuff beneath that, the white right here, for instance, right here, this is all natural clouds. But all of this other stuff is, is a chemtrail mix. And so even though uh, Oregon and Washington got a lot of rain, uh, much, much of the time when we look at the MODIS Today map, this is what we see. They're spraying all the time, and, and uh, a lot of time, uh, that will not stop the rain up there, but it does effectively stop it down where we are here in Southern California because the, the storms are running right into, uh, like we're seeing tonight, and they got that storm right offshore, and that's going to plow right into uh, Oregon and Washington. So that's just a little background. The chemtrails are only effective to a point. All right, so that's the summary for today. Um, the, we do have a forecast for 84, 85 degree weather on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And that's because they are uh, building high pressure. This is going to follow this, uh, this whole set. We've got a, a high and a low, and they're just going to move along and right over us here. And that's when we're going to get that wind. So this transmitter here is amplifying the effect of the, uh, the swells offshore. It's, uh, it's not. Uh, it's not at all going to kill this thing off. This is going to continue to, to move along. And they do have a transmitter on it, but it's still not going to kill it off. And what they're doing here is they're just simply cutting off the, uh, the moisture field, as we can see. There's no moisture here. So we'll get some uh, clouds, and we'll have chemtrails along with that. Okay, so that's it. We'll uh, go ahead and do another update tomorrow.